Yana and James are now husband and wife. James, you may now kiss the bride. our channel uh, if you don't know our channel name has changed we used to be known as three little monkeys we are now going under a hick mod life that is our surname um, we did this for a couple of reasons we really wanted something that was personal to us uh, if you search three little monkeys on YouTube it comes up with a whole lot of kids nursery rhymes and it just um, doesn't have like much to do with generally our life obviously we did that because there was three of us and we call each other monkey. Um, so uh, we've changed it to a Hikmot life. Nothing else has changed. Um, uh, we're also hoping to add another little monkey. Um, so another thing that would change with the name is that we are hoping to get pregnant. We are trying to conceive right now. Um, so we are launching our new um, channel name with some trying to conceive video sorry with some trying to conceive vlogs um so we've been we've been trying i say that but uh i know that i don't ovulate so um but we haven't used protection ever since noah was born and we were happy to have a child we really kind of wanted something um when he was about one or two um but i guess i just never really really was ready to go through this whole process i wanted a baby again um i wanted to be pregnant i love being pregnant i want to be a mum. i want no one to have a baby brother or sister um i can't wait for him to be a big brother um james has been more ready than me but i think just the emotional scarring of trying to conceive last time and it's just even though like everyone you know it did happen quite quickly for us once we got the help we needed but before that it was a really really long journey and you just always carry a sense of that it's your fault or you're the reason why it's not easy um and those are not um i don't know it's just really emotional so i don't think i was ready i didn't want to cry <laughs> Um, yeah, I just, I didn't, I wasn't really ready to, um, go through the whole process again. And I'm, oh, I'm sorry. I'm so ready. I mean, I don't love the process, but I'm so ready to have another baby and, um, our families are ready and, you know, they're really, really good not to put pressure on us or anything like that, but... Um, oh, I can't believe I'm crying. Um, yeah, I think it just affects you more than you think on the inside. I'm not getting pregnant. And, um, you know, in no way am I unhappy for other people getting pregnant. I'm so happy a couple of my friends are pregnant right now. And I'm so happy for them. Everyone has a totally different journey and I'm not um, upset by that or anything. I just can't wait um, for it to be our turn. And, you know, we'd be so blessed if all we had was not. Oh, I can't even. Um, anyway... <laughs> Uh, so I'm really ready now um, I'm ready for Noah to be a big brother I'm ready to have another baby and I'm ready to go through all this crap <laughs> um, so I have PCOS I've had it for a really long really, sorry, really really long time I have tons of cysts all over my ovaries um, we kind of wanted to start this journey a little over a year ago um, and I had some heavy, heavy bleeding for like months. Like it just did not go away. I really should have seen a doctor sooner. Um, when I did see a doctor, it turned out that there was a polyp. Um, so they removed the polyp and did a DNC uh, histoscopy. I think they just, it's like a clean out. Um, and they were hopeful that that would help. Um, and then I went back to see her and I was, I was still bleeding. Um, they didn't really know what was wrong and she just wanted to put me on the pill. Obviously that's not an option for us right now. I've been focusing on trying to lose a bit of weight um, because that is obviously a factor. Um, 
I was a lot lighter when I had Noah and I still wasn't ovulating so I knew that wasn't the main thing but it's not gonna hurt to be live a healthier lifestyle and everything like that so uh, I've been trying to work out a little bit more and eat better we will be ignore the rubbish truck oh my god right out my door um so we will be well, we'll be starting this journey on the Clomid again. That is what is, I've been subscribed. And yeah, that is what we will be doing. Um, so hopefully um, the Clomid will work. It worked for us with Noah. So we had the same situation with Noah. We weren't ovulating. I was on metformin. I ended up on 2,000 milligrams of metformin. And then I started the Clomid on 50 milligrams every time I ovulated and on the third time we got pregnant so it only took three months once we had the Clomid I was on the metformin for about a year before that uh, while still trying um, and getting irregular periods um so yeah we ended up getting pregnant in three months on the Clomid I had a super healthy pregnancy a healthy birth and a healthy baby and I couldn't be happier we're not sure when we're actually going to release this footage um but I do want it out there I do want it to start a conversation and uh, there's such a stigma around trying to get pregnant and um, fertility and miscarriage and all that stuff it's just not talked about something you have to deal with totally on your own and I just don't want that um, the only thing that is worrying me about releasing the footage is that people are gonna more know so that we're trying and then that brings up questions that's not something that people trying to conceive really want to hear from family like I love being asked like how things are going how I'm feeling because they are my support system they are my net group of close friends or family that you don't mind questions from but the people at work or the people you know that you uh, friends and friends with checking in and be like oh you're pregnant yet or if you're sick one day oh you're pregnant you must be pregnant like that's really frustrating um, and people just saying oh it'll happen when it happens like I was always sort of one of those people to think that and it just doesn't work that way for some people yes I do truly truly down in my heart believe that when we are not ready for a baby but um when we are blessed enough to have be pregnant and have a baby that is because that is our baby and i do truly believe that but hearing oh it'll happen is not really helpful <laughs> um so they're my main concerns in putting out the video is that people i know that aren't in my cl close network of friends or family are going to be asking me tons of questions about when I'm pregnant and that and I don't want to have to deal with that so I don't know when we're going to release this uh, but I do think we need to start um, the conversation about talking to it and supporting these women that are trying to conceive um, so yeah I hope you guys like this series I just wanted to give you guys a bit of a backstory into my uh, fertility um, so just to recap I do have PCOS I do not ovulate and um, we got pregnant with my son Noah who is now almost four um, using Clomid which we are trying again uh, and we will see how that goes so be sure to subscribe to our channel to check out all our trying to conceive videos and other vlogs um, and leave a comment down below say hi let me know where you guys are from we love communicating with you guys so thanks for watching I really appreciate it and I'll see you in my next video bye